Hey guys, Motor Car Not Here, and today we're talking about the symptoms of a bad radiator. Some of you may not know. An obvious reason is the car is going to overheat. The car can overheat for many, many things, but the radiator can make the car overheat, obviously. And the number one reason why the radiator will make the car overheat is it could be a leak. All right, if you have a leak and you didn't notice it somewhere, especially on like this car, you can't even see the radiator. Uh, sometimes they may leak when you're driving, like spew out when they're driving, but when it's idling, it doesn't leak. So it's really hard to check them, you know, really hard to catch it. But the number one is cool, uh, lack of coolant in the radiator because of a leak or because you didn't fill it. Okay, number two is corrosion. If you have a radiator where it has a radiator cap and you take it off and you see white gook in there, you know, it looks like cotton in there or look all, all cruddy in there, you could probably have a flow problem because radiator has all thin little channels, very thin. And if you put those sealers in there, head gasket sealers, or all of this, you know, maybe you, you know how I am with head gasket sealers, that can clog the radiator up as well. Also neglect if you don't replace the, uh, the coolant every two years or what the manufacturer recommends, that can give you problems. All right, you have bad circulation. That's the number two reason. Number three reason could be your fans are not working, all right? Um, that's not the radiator itself, but it's part of the radiator. And the radiator has a lot of components. It has coolant temperature sensor. It has thermostat. It has a water pump, all right? And um, all that good stuff. So we're just talking about the radiator right now. So if you're trying to diagnose it, okay? Another way is you can feel the hoses with the car running and the car is hot, the hoses should be pretty much close. They're pretty, when the car's hot, you pretty much can't touch them, and they're pretty pretty uh, solid. If one of them is really cold, it could be a couple of things. It could be the radiator flow. You can check the radiator too, the top of the radiator, the middle of the radiator, the bottom, the sides. It all should be the same temperature when the car is warm. If you have cold spots, then you'll probably have a clog in the radiator, and that can give you a problem. That can give you a hard to diagnose overheating problem like every now and then it would do that. It'd be the radiator, all right? Um, the hoses too, like I just said. The hoses, um, the, in, the uh, one, the coolant flows from the top, goes through the radiator and out the bottom, the heat rises, okay? But still, when the car is hot and the, and, the, um, and the fans circulate at least once, you would know, and I'm sorry, when the fans come on at least once, you know that pretty, pretty much everything is hot. The hoses should be pretty much the same temperature. Okay, so those are the uh, couple of symptoms of a failed radiator. I mean, it's a, it's a simple device. You know, a lot of other things usually cause it to fail, but there you go. All right, motor car not, please subscribe. Any questions pertaining to the video, leave them below. I answer all my questions, try to help you guys out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.